Hello traders, I'm going to introduce you guys to some basic features of Bookmap that can help you get much better fills on your limit orders. Okay, so let me just, let's just dive right in. To do this, you need to enable uh, trading in Bookmap, and you need, to, you need to have the digital basic version, which is just the one you can download for free. Um, but I think that the digital plus version might give you more features, so keep that in mind. So what we're going to do here is go to configure add-ons, which is right here. You can see uh, it's got like three things right here. Click configure add-ons, and then I'm going to use uh, to show you guys that. Now what this does are these are three high-frequency um, trading rules that we can use to our advantage. Uh, the first one is Chase. So what Chase does is if I place a bid, it will make sure that my buy order is always 20 units uh, 20 ticks away or 20 ticks within the um, best, uh, what's it called? 20 ticks away from the best bid or the best offer. And the escape button, what this does, this is probably my second favorite, this is my favorite. Escape says, if my limit orders, so let's say I place a limit sell, right? If that's within 20 ticks of the best price and the best bid is twice the size of the best offer, then my order will, will go up by 20 ticks. My limit seller will go up by 20 ticks. Why does this matter? Why am I talking to you guys about this? Well, a lot of the times the way that markets rise and fall in the short term is due to chasing bids and chasing offers. So you, you tend to get a large bid that just propels price higher and higher, and it's not always great to sell there. So this is an algo or rules that are built into Bookmap to make you sell at a much higher price when there's a fair amount of buying pressure and vice versa. So a little example of this, let's say this. Basically what I just um, coded into this guy right here is I'm saying if my limit order is within 20 ticks and the best bid versus the best offer, if the best bid is smaller than the best offer, then move my uh, bid away. And if the best offer is smaller than the best bid, then move my seller away, okay? So let me, guys, let me show you guys what this looks like, uh, you know, in, in real time. So let's go to the one minute and let's say I want to put a limit sell order here and a limit buy order here. Okay, it's sold there. Let's see if it runs away. Come on, enact the rule. So basically, it will move my orders away if it will move that sell order away that I just placed right there. If the best bid is larger than the best offer, when price gets near to the to my order here, it will move that order higher to get me a better fill price. So it looks like it's not doing it there, but really that is what the um, escape feature does. Okay. Now, let me show you guys another, uh, another feature that I think is pretty cool. Oh, so it just sold right there. Okay, so that's what the escape feature does. It's not really escaping right now, um, but that one is probably my second favorite. You can also use it to cancel the order. And, and this, I think, is probably better. Basically, what this will do is this will say, you know, if you put this thing to like 400, basically what this will say is it will cancel your order, your limit order, if price goes somewhere, um, where the best bid is like, let's say you have a limit sell order and the best bid is currently four times the size of the best offer, then it will cancel your limit sell order because of the buying pressure. These kinds of rules might not seem like they're very important, but they will probably get you better fills. And in the long run, that's going to probably make you more profitable. You can also tweak the settings and make, you know, whatever you want different. But let's go into the heart of the video execution, the one I've been waiting to get to because this one's the most aggressive and the most interesting. What does this say? All right, let's 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 go for this. This is something that front runs large orders. Um, that's not always the best strategy, but it is one that I find can be quite profitable, especially when the market's chasing upward or chasing lower. Let me talk about the logic of this. If the total size of one price level is at my order side, what that basically means is best bid versus best offer and the liquidity on both. So if the bid is four times larger, this rule will, will enact. If the offer is four times larger, this rule, this rule will, will enact. That's how it works. 
now is more than 400% of the opposite side, move my order one tick before the best price. What this basically is saying is, let's say that there's a situation where I place a bid. I place a limit buy order right here, and the best bid's here and the best offer's here. Let's say that the best bid certainly uh, suddenly goes and is 20 times larger than the best offer. What will happen is that bid that you place all the way down here is gonna front run the best bid that was so much bigger, and you will be first in line. So this basically front runs large order walls whenever they form. So here's what this looks like. This is gonna get maybe a little goofy, but uh, let's see the fills we get. Again, I'm gonna to continue to use one minute and let's do FTT. So if I, pl if I place a buy order right now, what this will do is if the, if the bidding is much larger than the offering, it will just front run all the buys. So as you can see, my order is down there and here. Okay, so let me talk about kind of what just um, happened there. So basically, my order was front running a large order consistently, and then I got filled right there, as you can see. Now if I use, this is one that gets kind of fun. If I use escape and execute together, I can actually have something that uh, runs away from large walls. So let me show you guys that. This is something that I've been using for market making. If you enable both escape and execute, what, what's gonna happen? Well, basically what's gonna happen is whenever there's a large offer wall and you're trying to buy, your order will go lower. And if there's ever a large um, bid wall and you're trying to buy, then your order will, will front run that bid wall. And that's what the escape and execute thing does. So now I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like when we enable both. So this is gonna get very aggressive, yeah. So let's say I put one buy and one sell. Oh, so already we actually got a really good transaction. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but the triangle indicates that uh, an order was executed. So I was able to buy here and sell here. As you can see here, a little, little benefit of doing that. So that's already a little bit of profit um, by doing the escape and execute strategy. So I'm gonna put a sell order here. Let's see what that does. I'm gonna put a buy order here. Okay, so that one didn't really uh, change too much, but let's talk about what happened here. Finally, the escape function actually did work here. So what I was talking about before, guys, with escape, that's exactly what happened here, and you really need to focus in on this feature. So there was a, my order was this purple line that had a circle right here, and it got canceled. It got canceled, and it got placed like just a few ticks higher. It got placed a few ticks higher because it sensed a fair amount of buying pressure, as you can see in the order book right here, and it got me to sell a little bit higher. And then what ended up happening is my buy order executed because it noticed that there was a lot of buying pressure. So the escape and execute strategy basically if it notices a lot of buying pressure, it buys. And if it notices a lot of buying pressure and you have sells out, it will run away with your sell orders, giving you better fill prices with your sells and more aggressively entering with the buys when it thinks that the market's going to rise in the very short term. But do remember that this is all super short term, very short term, like a few seconds. Uh, when we're talking about predicting a few minutes, you need to do that on your own. This is just for getting better fills like by the millisecond. So this is how you can get some better fills um, very quickly. But all right, I'm gonna place another limit cell just to demonstrate the escape and execute. So it looks like it just, looks like it just sold uh, right there. Oh, and it just did another one. So what happened here is it executed a sell order here, as you can see, because it noticed some selling pressure for some reason, noticed that there, oh, because there's a large sell wall. It noticed a large sell wall here, so it sold. And then it bought back lower here, um, as you can see. It actually put my order a little bit higher. So that was a little another profit. But you can do this on a lot of different coins. I mean, you can do this on really any coin. So if I do like some random lower cap coin, like AGLD, you know? And then I go back to this, the escape and the execute. What I can even do here, let me show you guys that one. Okay, so I think this one is going to do pretty well. This one will really show you the dynamics of what it does, I think, pretty well. So do you see what it just did? It's front running right now. Do you see that? 
So right, right there, what just happened is remember that the circle means that the order was canceled and the triangle means that an order was executed. For better or worse, uh, my order was actually front running the large bid. So there was a large bid here way back when, and you can see my order was actually able to front run that large bid. There's a large bid of like 958, not that large, but it, it front ran a little bit. And it also front run the best offer. So this kind of strategy, what it's basically doing is the execute portion of the strategy front runs people. It front runs large orders so that when there's a significant amount of buying pressure, you're right before that guy's buying pressure so that you can get filled before he does in a very high frequency um, setup, which can be incredibly profitable if you know how to utilize it. So you can see that my buy, my buy order got filled here and then my sell order kind of got da kind of danced around a little bit. Sell order is still kind of dancing all over the place. So unfortunately, it looks like I bought a little bit higher than where I sold, but that's because I put both a buy and a sell order. Typically with this strategy, I would only choose one side. I would do like this. Oops. So this is going to make it only sell. So it looks like it already sold. So it sold because it found that there was a fair amount of selling pressure. So it sold right here. As you can see, if I put a buy order, let's see what it does. Hmm. So it seems like the buy order ran away. Oh, there's the buy order. And you can kind of see just what's happening in real time. Again, it's front running these large orders for better or worse. These yellow lines are me. And uh, it front, it got actually filled right here. Oh no, it, it canceled before it got filled. Oh, that's so cool. Look, this is what happened here, guys. I'm gonna end it on this video, on this part. So purple is a limit sell and yellow is a limit buy. There was a limit sell order that was placed right here and that front ran the largest, uh, the lowest offer. When it was front running though, it noticed that there was a fair amount of buying pressure mounting. So it actually canceled the order and placed the offer a little bit higher. So instead of me getting a sell at 2.2354, I got sold at 2.2355. It placed my offer a little bit higher and then I got filled. So this is, and then also my buy order looks like, did my buy order get filled yet? Looks like my buy order just kept canceling as you can see here, it kept running away because it noticed selling pressure. And because it noticed the selling pressure, my buy order still hasn't gotten filled. So basically guys, what this allows you to do is you can probably outthink the things that I've done here. You can probably make them a lot better than I have, but using these kinds of add-ons and even creating your own add-ons allow you to become incredibly quick and incredibly high frequency at front running people's bid walls, front running people's offer walls, if you so desire. Um, the one thing I will say is in my previous video, I talked about static walls and how we can take advantage of them. A static order wall is very different than a, a order wall that's chasing price. So let's say there's a $1 million order that's chasing price higher. It's a bid that's placed and then place higher, place higher, place higher, place higher. What's going to happen is that's probably going to propel price higher. However, imagine that there was a static bid wall right here and price kept selling down on it. That's quite bearish. So you need to know the difference between a static uh, bid and a chasing bid and a static offer and a chasing offer. Okay? So as you can see, all of those like yellow lines are all the times that it got canceled. This is a pretty decent, I would say, high frequency um, setup you can do. Don't copy my settings. That wouldn't be the most helpful. Um, make your own. But... Um, happy trading and start front running and running away from buying pressure and running away from selling pressure.